All right, Random Home Depot, it is tab arts and crafts hour again. We're gonna try to kind of modify that uh, extractor toilet vent thing I made and make it a little bit better today, if these parts fit. All right, so a little while back, I made a uh, extractor vent fan for the cassette toilet, and it works really good while at camp, or when this trailer is uh, moving at slow speed, maybe going from the campground to the dump station under 20 miles an hour. But anything higher speed than that, the smell still comes back up into this trailer, even with the fan running going down the road. What I think it's caused by is where the vent pipe comes out in front of this trailer, it sits right in front of the uh, stabilizer landing gear thing. And I think wind is coming in and it's hitting that and being pushed up the pipe and up the toilet. So I'm going to attempt to make a little modification here in hopes it'll work kind of like a car exhaust. If I point it in the right direction, hopefully the air will draw any smell out going down the road also. So for part one today, we're going to use this over the existing plastic crinkle pipe. I'm going to lop an end off of this and hopefully that'll work out for us. And as usual, I couldn't find any of the matching uh, crinkle plastic pipe that would fit that unless I totally want to redo that whole pipe. So for right now, this may have to work just for uh, scientific research purposes. Now to crawl onto the trailer in the blood and guts and muck. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it's a tight fit. So right here is where your uh, ventilation pipe comes out for your uh, cassette toilet. And what I'm thinking is the air is coming in and it's hitting here and pushing up in there and up through the toilet. So what I want to try to do is make an extension that maybe comes out of here and aims that back. Or at least somewhere out of the way here. And in theory that should work by drawing air out of it and sucking it out of that cassette toilet. Okay, so this one and a half rubber thing fits just over that plastic hose. But what we have to watch here is that it doesn't hit the uh, stabilizer jack when it comes down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lop off a little bit of edge here. Okay, so I lopped the end of this off and I need to make sure it's going to clear this. But I want it to angle backwards like that. Kind of like a car exhaust. So it looks like we're gonna need a little bit more trimming. Okay, I lopped this thing off a little here. We are clearing our uh, stabilizer jack. It's still gonna be able to vent out when it camp, but what I'm hoping is when the air rushes by here, it's not pushing up into it. And now we gotta check to see if it clears that when this is in the upright position. All right, we're just about clearing. Hopefully that's enough to make a difference here. A little tricky to get this up and over that it's an odd size on that crinkle pipe on the outer diameter All right, let's see if this is gonna work out okay looks like she clears I just got to get a hose clamp on it I think our little uh, the set toilet exhaust pipe tip here may just work I got a hose clamp on there and it's pretty much friction fit on there. I yanked on this thing, it ain't going nowhere, at least for now anyway. But in theory, I think that this should work. When the air rushes over this, just like a car exhaust tip or a louver, it's gonna come past this, the air pressure rolls behind it and may pull some of that smell out the back. At least it's not hitting this and blowing air right up the pipe. But I did see on one of the forums, uh, you may want to put a little piece of screen mesh over one of these. Some guy said he had some mice up inside of his cassette toilet and thought that's how they came in. Kind of crazy. Quick uh, recap for everybody. When I made that fan, here's how I did that. I came in here in the back pocket of the cassette. And I sliced a very small piece of hose off the end of... Uh, this lid here that was on there and I replaced it with that weird rubber uh, coupling for plumbing and what I did was I put a small computer fan in there and that coupling fit down in that existing uh, vent hose and around my wiring 
tapping into power over here, running a fuse, around my wiring back to the fan and then up through the toilet to a switch. Now the only problem with that little fan is it's so quiet I can't hear it when it's on, but I'll tell you what, it actually does work pretty well. Now one day here when I finally figure out what I'm going to do and find the right parts, I will probably uh, either double up that fan or get some kind of more powerful fan out of a vacuum or something. But it is kind of nice that it is quiet, that way you can run it at camp. Well, you just take your lid here for your cassette, and it slides in there, and you can see that piece down below. That docks right in there above that fan. And there you go. And there's our new uh, stink exhaust tip hanging down. And I mean, it just barely hangs down under that uh, landing gear on an angle. And I haven't really noticed much smell around the trailer when I'm using this. Every once in a great while you may get a little bit of that porta potty smell, but it's uh, not even as bad as being camped at a campground with an actual pit house around you, that's for sure. But I've mainly done this so that when I'm uh, going down the road and I have a cassette full of, uh, well, crap, that, <laughs> that it doesn't stink up the trailer. And as you can see, for those that missed that video, here's my little fan button I put in there and wired up. That turns on the ventilation fan to suck a little pressure out of this uh, toilet. The neat thing I found is I can leave the flapper all the way up, do my business, and hardly any smell at all comes up. Then I can save a little water because all I need to do is give this a rinse. I don't have to fill this bowl up with water anymore like I did. Then I can give it a good rinse down afterwards and uh, good to go. Although, uh, kind of too much info here, but the strange benefit is this toilet's kind of small. It creates a seal and when you do your business, any of that scent just uh, gets sucked straight down and out. So I want to go over why I added that little extension on the vent pipe on the bottom. In my mind's eye anyway, I think it makes sense. Because the only time that... Uh, hoop suitcase in there, the cassette, starts smelling up the trailer is usually going down the road. And like I said earlier, I noticed it only really happens when I'm at a higher speed, even when I'm running that extractor fan. So there can only be one of two things happening. A, somehow pressure in this trailer is pulsating in here and it causing it to draw up the smell. Or B, what it looked like is, since that little vent tube sat right in front of a straight plate, I'm thinking air is hitting that plate and getting pushed up into that tube. By adding that extension on a little angle, it's going to work like a louver or an exhaust tip, hopefully, and when the airflow cuts across it now, hopefully it'll draw pressure out through it and help out. This is all in theory. I have no idea if it's going to work. We're going to find out the next trip. But so far, that little do-it-yourself fan modification has been working out really well, and I really like that, especially at camp. Like I said, you can really start conserving a little more water uh, if you leave your flapper open while you're doing your business, and it just drops straight through anyway. You only need to rinse, like, you know, once or twice going down instead of filling that bowl with extra water. With any black tank or cassette tank, you're going to need water in there to break down, of course. Just not as much as a normal tank because our tanks are so small and it's easy to dump them. Well, I just thought I'd do a quick update and uh, video on this cassette toilet ventilation uh, conundrum that I've been messing around with here. <laughs> I'll let you all know after the next trip if that actually works out or not. And uh, who knows, maybe you didn't even really need a vent fan. Maybe it's just that pipe needs to be extended just a little bit so the airflow doesn't push up it too. So. It could be something to think about. I'll be seeing you all in about a week or so.